already we have a question from the topic proportions so let us go ahead and we'll read the question first t varies inversely as the square root of u where t is given as 3 when the value of u is 4 and we have to find the value of t when u is 49. So first we are going to see what is the concept underlying this particular question. So for that I'm going to assume x and y are two variables where x varies directly as y. We can also say this that x is directly proportional to y and the sign is called proportionality sign. Now, when we'll remove the proportionality sign, we'll be putting a constant value and it will be written as this. x is equals to k times y where k represents the proportionality constant which signifies here that when x and y are variables, they can take different values, but the ratio of x and y will not change and the ratio is equals to k, which is a constant value. So we'll apply the same concept here in the given question where we can see that t varies inversely as the square root of n. Inversely, means we have to take one over square root of u. Now, when we'll remove the proportionality sign, we'll write that key t is equals to k times one over square root of u. Now we are going to find the value of k when t is given as three when u is four. So when u is four, we write t as 3, so we can say that 3 is equals to k times 1 over square root of 4, which will give us 3 is equals to k times 1 over 2. And the value of k we get as 2 times 3, and that is 6. So here, after finding the value of k, which is 6, we'll substitute its value in the given relation, which we have framed as an equation. Now I can say that t is equals to 6 times 1 over square root of u and that is 49 and we can write this as 6 times 1 over 7 which is t is equals to 6 over 7 and that is the answer. Thank you.